of you and today we're going to be making butternut squash and before we start our preparations always remember to wash your hands and use a clean pinafore take any rings off that you may have and then we shall jolly well start we've peeled our butternut squash and can I tell you that we've peeled all the butternut squash but normally we would cut the bottom off and use it as um, a basin to put the butternut squash in but we're not going to be doing that today um, the other ingredients are uh, one tablespoon of olive oil one garlic clove chopped a pint of chicken stock vegetarians can substitute um, vegetable stock two tablespoons full of milk Salt and fresh ground pepper to taste and fresh coriander to garnish. Right then. Well, first off, we're going to be chopping the garlic, slicing it thinly, being careful not to chop our fingers off. Now we're going to be adding one tablespoon of extra virgin oil onto the saucepan. Add the garlic. One chicken stock, one vegetable stock in a bowl, and add one pint of water, boiling water. I'm not sure now how the one pint is. Just added two stocks, one beef, one vegetable to a pint of water. And stir it in now to dissolve it. And the garlic is ready to soften. Stir it well in so that the garlic and the oil goes through. And I'll parboil it for a minute or so. Just wash off the stove and now I'm going to add one chicken and one vegetable stock mix. Give it a little stir. Put back on the heat for 8 to 10 minutes or until it's nice and soft. Wash it off the stove and I'm just going to add the two ounces of milk, salt to taste, and freshly ground black pepper. Also to taste. Stir it in. And I'm going to set it aside until I put it in the blender. Right, so it's cooled slightly and now I'm going to transfer it into the blender. Just so. As you can see, it's cooked to a nice consistency. Transfer it now into the bowl. And too good to waste.
We don't have fresh coriander today, so I'm going to be garnishing it with some chopped coriander. And there you go. Lovely butternut squash.